Hello there guys and welcome back to Leeds United's life in the Premier League. In this episode I will be showing you uh, the first couple of games that we encounter in our new um, career, if that's what you want to call it, in the Premier League. And uh, I've signed a few more youngsters since uh, I last did a video. Um, obviously nobody worth writing about at the moment. I'm just going to loan them all out, see what I can get for them and see where it lies because at the moment there's quite a few people players that I just want to get rid of because they're not good enough and I've managed to ship off a few uh, Sam Byram I'm gonna lose him because he feels he is underpaid I'm hoping to get a second chance to offer him a new contract although to be honest he's very underrated on FIFA and I think I can get a better right back uh, for the money I'll get for him so we'll see anyway uh, anyway, our first game of the season is at home against Arsenal. Now, this is going to be a very, very tough game because Arsenal are a very well-acquitted side. Um, passing movement, everything about Arsenal is my weak spot. Um, Musa there in the new uh, lead shirt. Uh, this is his first game. So, we will get straight into it and... Uh, Basically, it's showing off our new signing as well, uh, Pierre. I'll just call him Pierre because it's easier. And um, he looks a hell of a player, so hopefully he can get us a few goals in this career and we plough on and survive comfortably. Uh, Arsenal were the team to pressure us first and fair there. Uh, player who's obviously new to Arsenal puts Ramsey through and Butland just does enough to put Ramsey off and that is a warning you make a mistake in the Premier League and you will just get punished uh, Wilshire is fouled there but Sagne keeps the ball and puts it in and Wilshire just over the bar and again it's another let off for me I mean that is a really really good touch actually by Wilshire and he's really unlucky not to score uh, it's so close it's just gone over the bar but again it's another warning sign for myself you know I've got to be better uh, Rodolf Austin is not playing in this game by the way I'm trying to equip myself for life without him and a defensive error of goalkeeping proportions has cost me that goal and uh, Giroud has made no mistake about putting that in with his head so it's 1-0 to Arsenal uh, Ince had a really good chance to level it for us, but that was a fantastic save. Take nothing away. And Gradle dicks his man here and puts it into the bottom corner. That is absolutely quality. Max Gradle has just scored a fantastic goal. And it's all level again. You're going to see in the replay, he really does leave his man left for dead. It's for Malin. He's just completely dicked him. That turn there. And. The goalkeeper is very close to saving that, but luckily for me, he didn't. And it's 1-1, and it's game on. Uh, up to that point, Arsenal once again battered me. Uh, came forward in numbers. Ramsey causing me all sorts of problems. Puts it to Walcott, and Walcott ain't going to miss from there. And again, the Premiership quality showing through there. And my poor defending has made us pay big time. I had a really good chance to equalise again there, but... The goalkeeper's made a fantastic save again. Uh, Theo Robinson puts Max Gradle through, who again smashes it into the bottom corner. That's two for him now, and he is on absolute fire. And considering the fact I was thinking of getting rid of him, because I didn't think there was a place for him in my team, I've been very wrong to. And if the score stays like this, I will be extremely happy, which it did. So, I'm going to show you a few of the results. Aston Villa beat West Ham 2-0. Newcastle beat Wigan 3-0. QPR beat Chelsea 2-1. That is a right result for QPR. Stoke City lost to Norwich City 3-1. And West Brom lost to Everton 3-2. Yeah, what a game for our first opening. Uh, a draw with Arsenal. That is a fantastic result. I'm really happy with that. Uh, Arsenal, like I say, one of the teams that are going to be up there. So if we can get results like that against them, we're not going to be far away from where I want to be. 
uh, Ralph Austin's agents talking a load of bollocks and uh, Ross McCormack is worried that he's not going to stay in the team but I'm going to play him as an attacking midfielder because I really like Ross McCormack. Uh, he works hard, he'll play wherever you want him to and basically he's an all-round good guy. Uh, I'm thinking of giving McCarthy a chance. I'm going to take Theo Robinson out of there because he is absolutely knackered. And um, there's a few other players really that I should be playing but I just can't really. I can't break the balance. I'm giving Joshua King his chance this year. I know I should have given him a chance in the championship, but uh, what can I do? I'm in the Premier League now. I could have just loaned him out for another year, but what's the point? I mean, I need to have a better look at him, really. And in this formation, 4-2-4, it works perfectly for my strike force of uh, Pierre, Moussa, Wells and Robinson. But I've put McCormack in there instead of Robinson for the Wigan game. And I'm hoping for a draw or better. And I didn't get it. I lost 3-1. Musa got his first goal for Leeds United. And Leeds got injured. So we lost that game. And uh, that puts us pretty much on the bubble. Uh, on one point out of two games. That puts us down there. But not down and out by any means. Uh, it's only the start of the season if I can get a few more signings in before the window shuts that would really help our cause and uh, we can fire on from there Newcastle top of the league with 6 points Everton 2nd, Arsenal 3rd Liverpool 4th and we've had a transfer offer for Sam Byron uh, from Leicester City fuck off Leicester you're not having Sam Byron not for that price anyway you can absolutely forget about it uh, Lees is out for seven days. Um, he'll be back for the next game, uh, which is against Norwich City. Now, I'm sure everyone knows that I despise Norwich City for the fact they just take anyone that's any good at Leeds United. So, really, I want to win this game more than any other game I am going to play in the Premier League. It's at home as well, so... I really need to be winning this game and I need to get a result out of it because really they're going to be relegation fodder as well as me so I need to best them. Uh, we've got Barnsley in the Capital One Cup I think it is uh, after this and uh, Anyway, on to the game against Norwich. Uh, starting lineup, I've given Butland another game in goal, although McCarthy's going to go in for the cup game. That's what I'm going to do and rotate him for the cup games. McCarthy's probably still going to whinge, but what can I do? Uh, he had a fantastic game against Norwich the other night. He getting better every game, and I hope we sign him, but I seriously can't see it for the Real League United. Anyway, Norwich. Coming forward early on, Allen causing me all sorts of problems. That was a really good tackle, and the referee has got that very wrong, in my opinion. Yes, it's from behind, and if Snodgrass puts this in, I would have been really upset, but Pilkington's just hit it at my player, and now we can break. Uh, Musa breaks down the line, puts it to Wells, who puts it to Gradle. It's blocked really well by Norwich, to be fair, and is offside there. Yeah, he's absolutely miles off, so... Norwich get a bit lucky there. Again, coming forward, Barkley, who passes it to Pierre. Oh, he takes it round the keeper and smashes it in the back of the net. That is exactly why I've paid £17 million for him. He is an absolute tank, and look at that flip. That was quality. Uh, he's been injured, that's why he's got a brace on his knee. Yeah, I think that's a really cool thing they've added in FIFA, you know, if you get an injury, they have like supports to show that they're injured. Again, through on goal, Naki Wells must do better, he's hit the bar though, and it's cleared again, and Norwich are really fearing for their lives here, and they break, and Steve Morrison, of all players, Steve Morrison, he scores against me, he puts it on the button and puts it in the back of the net in the 16th minute, that is... Premiership all over. You know, if you get countered, they will punish you, and that's exactly what they did to me. You know, one on one with a keeper. I'm not really sure what Butland's doing. He should have come out to him a bit quicker than he did. Decided to stay in his goal, and 
Yeah, they scored, so it's 1-1. Musa puts a fantastic ball into Gradle, but again, it's really well saved by Ruddy. And Barkley uh, doesn't do anything really with this corner. It's cleared quite easily by Martin. Uh, Luke Shaw showing his strength there. He's been fantastic since I bought him. Uh, didn't expect him to burst into the scene of the first team as quick as he has. And as you can see there, Tom Lees has been booked for that challenge uh, on the Norwich player. Uh, Bassong, uh, I believe it was. It might not have been. It might have been. And uh, Norwich again coming forward. Pilkington puts it to Allen, and Allen's not going to miss from there. Uh, Butland almost got to it, but again, it's just quick counter-attacking football, and I just can't deal with it. I don't seem to have enough pace at the back at all. I mean, what is Sam Byron doing there? Where is he going? I don't know. Uh, I really don't know. Anyway, it's 2-1 now to Norwich City, and I've uh, got to do it all over again. There's a fantastic ball through to Pierre, and he puts it in the back of the net. That is a lovely curling shot, and are we going to see another flip? We are indeed. That is absolutely class. He must be a fan favourite already. I mean, it's a great ball, to be fair, by Barkley, and he just takes his time and slots it exactly where he wants to, and 2-2, game on. It's sounding a bit familiar, this, and Joshua King has a chance to show what he's made of, and to be fair, really does a fantastic job of saving that, and keeping the scores level. Uh, Naki Wells looking for space to turn and shoot but it's really well defended by Norwich and Tom Lees who is already booked has left his foot in there and there is absolutely no option but to send him off. I can't complain with that really I mean it is a red card because he has kicked out at him and Norwich have a free kick. Uh, Bennett takes the free kick to Grada Oh, no way. No! Oh, my God. In the last minute, Pilkington has scored for Norwich. It had to be Norwich fucking City that have got a last-minute goal against me. Oh, that has pissed me off. That has really, really pissed me off. I mean, I'm generally angry about that. I mean, what the fuck is Butland doing? He's getting dropped. He's dropped for the next game, and so is um, Byron, because... That marking was absolutely appalling. And I'm trying to get something out of this game now. You know, I've pushed everyone forward. And if it weren't for uh, him not getting onto that ball, they could have had another. And that's the end of it. I've lost 3-2 to Norwich. A bit of bullshit, really. I mean, I was missing the defender, yeah, Tom Lees. But it was only for, like, a minute. We were in the 90th minute. And you wouldn't expect to be punished like that, but... Uh, credit to Norwich, they've won the game, I've lost the game, I'm annoyed about it, but what can I do? I mean, that, again, the Premiership all over, you dawdle for one minute and you will get raped, anally raped, like I just did. Anyway, a few more results, Aston Villa lost to Arsenal 2-1, Manchester United beat Everton 3-1, Newcastle drew... And uh, Tom Lees is obviously suspended for one game. And now we have the transfer deadline day. So, and as we expected, Butland is badly out of form. He will be getting dropped for McCarthy in the next game. Who should I buy in this window? I've had a few suggestions already in my last video. If I buy anyone that you've suggested, I will give you a shout out in my video. I promise you that. I really appreciate all the uh, suggestions that I'm getting. Uh, you really help me guys out. Uh, you know, I really do appreciate it. So anyway, uh, sorry this isn't a very long video, but I'm hoping to have another one out to you soon. I hope you've enjoyed watching this. I will see you all later.